All right, guys, back for a follow-up on the Leatherman Bolster. This is going to be a short one, guys. Um, so I carried this for two weeks in compliance with my standard two-week carry rule for new EDC items. And it brought out all the details that I like and I don't like. And honestly, the one complaint I have about this is just a little bit of quality control which is um, understandable considering how uh, much of a bulk of products they get. So these are just a little bit misaligned, and that's it. A lot of people want to compare um, this to a sidekick or a wingman, and the truth about that is the sidekick and the wingman are more expensive, but do very, very little more. <clears throat> It is more closely related to the wave. I mean, the yeah. rev, because the rev is very, it, it's the same price, and the appearance is almost identical. Um, I'm going to call this the new rev, basically. Uh, you take out the box cutter, you add a serrated blade. That little guy right there, you can see it on top. And a lanyard loop. And then you make the knife easier to access, add spring load, and finer pliers. And that's it. What I got to say about the Leatherman Bolster. It is the best, cheapest, full-sized multi-tool from Leatherman I have ever seen. And that's because it's 40 bucks and not 60 Now, <clears throat> um, as a side... Because that's basically all i got to say. I like this thing. For $40, you can't beat it. The only downside is you have to have a Costco membership. Um, it's nice. It, it's not the nicest Leatherman, because it's $40. But for $40? Absolutely. Buy like a couple. Keep them as backups for stuff. Keep one in your truck, etc. As a little backup tool. Or if you like spring-loaded pliers, that's the way to go, because it's only $40. I, I could, Civivi knives are cheaper. I mean, more expensive. Excuse me. No brain syndrome. Now, a lot of people want to, <clears throat> and this is just a side note, compare the, the curl to these guys for some reason. And that's all I have to say. Sponsor tonight, Transmix. Link in the description below. If you want to support my channel and help me get more awesome items for review, speaking of which, I have a couple on the way, um, hit me up at the email in the description below. And I am hand make these brass beads. I call them extinction level event beads because they look like a little meteorite. So uh, if you want one, they're suited for 550 paracord. I make them in a half inch, full inch, um, six eighths, five eighths, all that stuff. So let me know, guys. Have a good night.